Mattel just debuted the new 2020 poster, revealing the first ever next-gen Piston Cup pit crew, of course, for Jackson Storm, his crew chief, and one of his pitties, Ray Reverham and Laura Spinwell, respectively. Now, this is extremely important for today's topic on next-gen haulers because it begs the question, will Mattel make more next-gen teams? Will it just be crew chiefs and pities or will they extend further on the semis and haulers as well? I mean, Mattel did in fact already release Gail Boffer, Jackson's hauler, and most recently they also released Paul Conrev's hauler. Now, of course, this is a phenomenally promising sign, but it's just two, it's just the start, and there are a ton of sponsors they can do it for. Will it be like the first Cars movie where they release quite a few and then cancel the whole bunch? Will they intend to release all of them? Like what the deal will be here for the next gen haulers? It's very interesting and we're going to talk about that today. But of course, welcome back to another Disney docket presentation. Today I have this custom next gen shiny wax hauler. Of course, Conrad Camber's hauler. If you guys remember, I reviewed Chase Racelet's hauler a couple weeks ago or was it like months ago i don't remember quarantine just a blur to me but if you missed that video i'll put the link in the description below along with the card suggestion pop up in the top right hand corner on that video i asked you guys what custom next gen hauler you'd like me to review next and shiny wax won overwhelmingly actually not really i mean there's like four or five choices so he only got about 60 percent of the votes but you can see the Kind of results there so yeah this video of course a new poll for you guys and thanks to everybody who voted on the last one i really do appreciate it option one is ed trunken's hauler from mood springs i'm sure he'll win just because of the results on the previous poll but maybe you guys changed your mind maybe you want to see danny swerve as his hauler here for octane game and my last custom next gen hauler is for Encho Ocola. Racer is H.J. Hollis. Yes, sir. But today we're focusing on Shiny Wax and Mr. Conrad Camber. So these are all factory customs made in China. I don't exactly endorse the seller, but I'll put the link to the eBay listings in the description below if you want to check them out. Just be careful when ordering from them because the quality may not be perfect, but if it's, you know, subpar to your expectations, you can message the seller and try and get a partial refund or return the item. And they're actually not that expensive. You know, go ahead and check them out if you'd like. So we're going to start here. Well, I guess we could start with his appearance, kind of. I don't think he really ever makes a perfect appearance in the movie, but there's always like a row of next-gen haulers in the background that maybe you could pick from, but... I don't remember seeing this guy in the movie, unfortunately. But that was the case for Vitaline as well, I believe. And then first picture I see, there he is in the movie. I got to see how inaccurate the custom was. But, I mean, the customizers in China, they aren't watching the movie. They probably have never even seen Cars 3. But anyway, first off, I want to give you guys a little bit of a size comparison because these are quite large. I mean, compared to Paul Conrad's semi here, it's about one and a half times the size in you know, thickness and height and length. Actually, it's probably about double. And you could just see, I'm lining them up equally right here, but look how far it extends there. That's kind of ridiculous. Almost Disney store scale, honestly. Although the Gale Boffer from the Disney store is bigger than this. But here is Mattel's Gale Boffer. I still don't really know how I pronounce that. You guys have told me. I forgot. I'm sorry. So yeah, Gale is pretty much the same as Bumper Save. I also have this Cruz Ramirez playset. Now, speaking of Cruz Ramirez, by the way, these are pretty you know similar in size. But Mattel does intend on releasing a just regular 155 scale version of this hauler here, just like Paul Conrad's hauler. So that should be coming soon. I, at least I really hope it is. I really hope it's not canceled. And my last comparison is the first next gen hauler we kind of ever got. And that was this transforming playset for Gail Balfour, which is actually very similar in size to 
this shiny wax cap as well. And if you'd like to see my review of this, I'll toss that link in the description along with the card instruction pop up in the top right hand corner. It's one of my most popular videos ever. Set a few records back in the day. But yeah, starting off here with his hat decal, which I'm a really big fan of. Now again, these customs are not that phenomenal. They're not accurate in the slightest, but I'd rather have this than nothing at all because you know, chances are Mattel won't release all these customs here. But anyways, all of these hats are in the shape of an S, Jackson Storm's S, because they based it off that. So all of them have this weirdly shaped decal, but they made them look pretty good. I really do like this golden star. And, you know, the sticker they use for it has a nice look, you know, with the you know foil for the gold there. It looks really, really cool. Of course, you have the headlights there and the grill, a little smirk. Side view mirrors up here. He's got these black rims and tires. Piston cup, weird piston cup logo. Cause if you look at like a normal piston cup logo, it's all spelled out. But this one, I don't know. It just looks very strange. It's not exactly a piston cup there in the center. Something a little, a little modified I'd say. But you do have 82 there, which is pretty similar to how Conrad has it on his roof. So that's good. You also have this black gray sticker down here. And here is the back where the hitch is. You can connect the trailer to. It's a really nice shade of green. It really does match Conrad. You can't complain about that. Like they could have done a better job with the color whatsoever. Now take a look here at the trailer. We got this side here, the modern Shiny Wax logo, which looks really good. Now I can definitely see why Shiny Wax got voted you know, before all the other ones. His decals are phenomenal. They did a great job with this star here. It is the gold foil that is very similarly done to the next gen itself. It looks so phenomenal like that. You can see how shiny it is and reflective. Probably somebody's going to comment face reveal at 723. So, I mean, that just goes to show how reflective it is. You can see my camera there. Ridiculous. 82. Now, all the other next gen haulers except for Sputter Stop say Shiny Wax. Or actually, they say the racer's name, my bad. So, like for Ed Trunken here, it says Ed Trunken. But at the time they were making these, the Shiny Wax name along with the Sputter Stop name for the next gens were not revealed. So it just says Shiny Wax. And for Sputter Stop, it actually says Spooter Stop. It's missing a T just because, you know, they're bound to make a mistake in there. But it really should say Conrad Camber and then Sheldon Shifter. So you have 82, 82 again. Like, again, the decals are kind of redundant. I think I talked about this in my Vitaline video oops stickers coming off over there again you have this weirdly shaped spot for the sticker it's kind of in the shape of the s again i don't know that's very strange tail lights look good you have a little sticker down here over here the decals are not looking super happy i don't know what's going on it's kind of peeling up there at the bottom Let's see if i can kind of smooth it back out with the t yeah here we go that looks good the gold foil doesn't look as good on this side. Maybe it's because this side's kind of been the sun. I don't know. Actually, it hasn't really been the sun. There's no way. That side just looks so much cleaner than this side over here. Hmm. I wonder why. But anyway, you have those stickers on the top there for the vents, I would assume. And you can open this up. You can. I want to be clear there. You can open it up. It's very difficult. Well, actually, yeah. You can't open it from the bottom. So you have to get your fingernail in between the notch here and the cab itself, which is very difficult. And then you have to get enough leverage to pry it open, which is even more difficult. Jeez, this is ridiculous here. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to do two fingers. I feel like I'm pulling off the plastic. Okay, guys. There we go. I had to bring it close to me, my center. 
absolute massive hauler. Like you could put like everything in here. You could put like the entire 2020 line in here probably. It's amazing. You know, the metal haulers are not this big. They do not provide this much space. So yeah, Conrad could drive right in and he could go in deep. I mean, I don't know. He's not going in as deep as I thought. There must be something holding him up in there. Yeah, it actually bumps up when it hits this, obviously. But yeah, it's actually, yeah, there's a good shot of it. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I mean, it gives you some, you know, storage space to, you know, put some cars or, you know, haul Conrad around, haul Conrad and Darren Lettfoot around. That'd actually be really cool if somebody did that for a stop motion or something. But yeah, guys, that is all for my review here of Conrad Camber's hauler. We're going to pull up the entire team here. Well, first of all, the next gen team, which only consists of Conrad and this tractor so far. But I think that looks pretty sweet. Again, the color looks great on the hauler. It all matches uniformly against or across all three of him. Of course, we have Jim Scavenger's custom Darren Leadfoot's hauler from Cars 1 that was canceled. It was supposed to be the very next hauler released. He was so close to being released in both 2009 and 10. And he also got canceled recently, I think, in like 16 or 17. Yeah, very different haulers, but they are in fact the same team. Who we got next here? We have a bonus collector card. We got senior tracks, Darren's crew chief. We have Nebuchadnezzar Schmidt for his pity. The cars three, Darren. Cars one, Darren. And believe it or not, I did just review all of these guys, like the entire team in my Team Shiny Wax video. So if you missed that, definitely check it out in the description and card suggestion pop-up. You know, it's a phenomenal video, at least in my opinion, just because it showcases all the Shiny Wax crew members and you know my custom stuff. So definitely worth checking it out. And now we really have the whole team here because of the hauler. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you on Saturday for a review of some fan favorites. Bye now.